Welcome back to the channel guys. It is me 80 summer for four. So today guys I'm gonna do my conference league final guys my preview for this final guys This in my opinion could be the most exciting final we have of the three because this one I feel like we could have the most goals I genuinely feel like this one could be the most goals because both teams are Kind of pretty attack minded with the set of players they have and it's gonna be very interesting and like I said both clubs are need to win this to secure Europa League football so Let's discuss a bit. Let's start with um, Fiorentina. Fiorentina this season have had a mix. It's it's been a rocky start. They've had a bad start to the season. You know they got second in the conference league group. Vincenzo Italiano didn't really get the best out of the team. The attack wasn't really working out. You know Arthur Carbal, Luka Jovic, and these kind of players. And Luka Jovic for me has been a player that's really not been great. In all honesty, in the Serie A. But he's come to life in this, uh, they come to life in the conference league, you know, Ikona as well. And I feel like for me, they were just not looking great. And I think that win in the conference league they got over Braga was huge. I think that's galvanized their season, that turned this around, and they had a late surge of momentum. And they're going to finish in mid table because at the beginning of the season, around the midway point, they were like, I think 13th place in Syria. It was looking really bad for them. Their hopes of European football were dead. They got a tough draw in the round of 32. You're thinking to yourself, how are they going to get past this? You know, they got they got past Braga in comfortable fashion. I mean, they destroyed Braga, 4-0 away in Portugal. That is a very difficult task. Braga is a great team. We saw what they did last season in the Europa League. They made it all the way to the flipping quarterfinals of their home form. Their home form was incredible, guys. And Rangers had to, uh, Rangers defeated them. You know, Europa League finalist, of course. So I just think that for me, it was very commendable what they did. You know, and in the round of 16, they got past Sivisport, comfortable fashion, quarterfinals, they got past Lech Bazan. And then even in the semifinals against Basel, the team that was like flying high, that somehow managed to squ somehow make it this far, they managed to put it all, they fought everything, and even with losing the first, like they showed resilience, they showed character, and they managed to beat Basel away 3-1 and heart and broke their hearts at the last minute of the game with a late goal from Barak. So... Fiorentina, man, they've had a difficult route to get here, and um, they're looking to win this, man. They're looking to win this to cap off a good season. Now, for um, West Ham, on the other hand, this season's not been that great. You know, kind of similar to Fiorentina in the sense that they've been really, really bad domestically speaking, you know, and it feels like in some ways that everything is resting upon the Conference League, that if they don't win the Conference League this season, David Moyes could potentially be sacked, and this season could be a huge failure because West Ham just about escaped relegation. That is embarrassing. For a club of this magnitude, for the amount of players they have, this is ridiculous. I mean, you have Mikel Antonio, you have Skamaka, you have Paqueta, you have Fabi you have um Fabianski, you have a really good team on paper, and you're telling me you're in the bottom ten of the Premier League? I'm sorry, man. This is unacceptable. And like I said, if it wasn't for the conference league, David Moyes would probably have already lost his job. <laughs> he probably would have lost his job by now. But the fact that they kept, the fact they've done so well in the conference league, reached the final, is a commendable. You know, they and it was, it was, you know, they had some tricky opponents in there. You know, AZ Alkmaar, Ghent definitely did test them. You know, A Kalonica they got past, and you know they've had a you know a favorable route. But I do think the game against Ghent and AZ showed how much they are, and you know, like I said, it's going to be very, very interesting to see how these players turn up. So now let's go, go ahead and talk about tactics in particular. So Fiorentina to me is very similar to Manchester City. I think if you if for those who don't really know what Fiorentina plays, their style is very much similar to Manchester City. So look at how Manchester City is. They how well they can keep possession, how well they can do it. Now I will say Fiorentina is much more of an inferior version. I don't think Fiorentina can keep the ball as well as Manchester City and obviously Manchester City are smile superior ahead of them. I do find at times I've seen in some other games that Fiorentina can defensively be a bit vulnerable. I look at Lech Bazan and against Basel in particular, where they let up so many goals in particular, and games which they shouldn't have. So I do think they are defensively a bit weak at times. You know, defensively, I do think they need to be better. I, I do think the center-back partnership at the back could sometimes be not be great. You know, I saw them in the, um, the Coppa Italia final, and that they could have honestly done much better defensively in that first half, but, you know, it is what it is. And West Ham, man, they are a team that doesn't really rely on possession. They're a team that's very much on the counterattack. They kind of rely on verticality. They're not that clinical, though, in front of goal. And they're defensively pretty solid for the most part. They are defensively solid. And I think that is important to note here in particular. So now it comes down to a prediction. 
It's a very difficult game to call. Vincenzo Italiano versus David Moyes. Who's going to come out on top? Because you look at the amount of players are on display for both teams. We have so many pl class players. I mean, you have Cabral. You have Luka Jovic. You have um, Jonathan Nicone. You know, and for Fiorentina, like I said, man, it's a very well-run team. You know, their attack is amazing. West Ham, on the other hand, you have Scamacca. You have Paqueta. You have Antonio. You have Scamacca. You know, you have uh, Kurt Zuma. You know, a guard. You know, Fabianski as well. Like, it's a very good team. Um, and so, it's a very difficult one to call, guys. And this is how my this is how I'm going to go. I'm going to go with Fiorentina to win. I believe a lot of people are writing off Fiorentina in this final. A lot of people say West Ham are the favorites. And I could understand, but I do feel like people are writing too much, disrespecting Fiorentina too much. I feel like Fiorentina, for me, have a good enough team. And um, I think they're very good. I think they, the way they play their football is a brilliant. I think it's effective. And just my only concern is defensively. Can they limit their defensive mistakes? That's something that I kind of want to see them do because that's something I feel like they need to address upon. And I think it'll be massive for Fiorentina can win this. You know, for West Ham, man, it'll also be massive too because both these teams, like I said, man, haven't won a trophy in a very long time. You know, I believe this is West Ham first final since 1970. And I think the last time Fiorentina won a trophy was 2002. So, yeah, it's going to be a very interesting to see. Both these teams need this trophy. And I'm going to go for a 2 on win for Fiorentina, man. Let's see what happens, guys. I'm really excited for this final, guys. It should be a very exciting game. Let me know your score predictions in the comments below. And remember, guys, we'll do a live preview the Tuesday, the day before the game. So that'll be on Tuesday at 6 p.m. Eastern time. Um, so I hope I can see you guys there. And if you have any Fiorentino West Ham fans, let me know. I'll send you the link. And uh, you can come on my channel. We can preview this game together. So, you know. Uh, it's going to be a very exciting final, and I'm looking forward to it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Remember, guys, if you made it this far, please hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button as well. Comment down below your thoughts in the comment section below. And, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.